Hey peeps, it's me, the original Queen Bee, coming at you today with a fun project involving sparkles. Yes, that's right, I'm going to bling out a certain item, sort of unexpected, but not over the top. You can bling anything, bring blingitude to anything. So hopefully you will join in, watch, and bling something yourself. If you don't feel like doing the project yourself and you do have a project, something you want me to bling, hit me up. I will do it. There is no project too big or too small. I will create blingitude for you as well. So stick around and let's get started. Let's have some fun. Hi peeps. Here we are ready to bling our project, whatever it is that we are going to bling. Keep in mind, one important note for this particular project is that we are using flat back crystals. And what that means is there is no adhesive on the backs of these crystals, which if there were, we could use a heating tool. And those are typically applied to clothing and soft materials. We are using the flat back with no glue attached, no adhesive, and we're going to be using the E6000, which will adhere these crystals to just about anything and it will stay put. Also, you're going to want to have your crystal katana. If you don't have one of these, um, if you could get um, a toothpick with some wax on the end, or I even use, you know, the orange sticks for your nails for pushing back the cuticles. You could use an orange stick with a little bit of wax on the end of that. And that works just as well. These crystal katanas you can get online. Of course, you can also get them at any craft store, Michael's Hobby Lobby, even Walmart. They run about $25 to $30. And they're a handy dandy tool. It allows you to pick up your crystals with this wax end and then you can use the pointed end to maneuver and move the crystals around on your project um, so you'll need your e6000 glue your crystal katana or appropriate um, backup your um, crystals whatever you're using today and if you need to mark out um, on your project where you're putting the um, crystals. If you have a specific stencil, um, then you would use a white pencil um, to mark that out on your project. Okay, so this is basically all you need. And um, I like to have a piece of scrap paper that I sometimes would put the um, glue down on and dab and use my tool to dab for smaller um, spaces on my project. So what am I going to bling today? Well, I am going to bling my wireless mic. I am going to bling out this so that I sparkle while I'm sweating. Um, I'm going to focus on the headband portion of this here. So let's get started. I don't need to map out anything. Um, I'm just going to place them different sizes and bring uh, the most sparkle. So in other words, you don't want to put all, you know, um, 20s or all tiny, tiny, or actually these tiny ones here, if you look, those are great for filling in spots when you do place your larger stones. Um, I'm using the ABs for my project today, and I'm going to just pour out a few of the various sizes. Let's get started. I am going to just place them along here, whichever way. I like to start with my larger stones first, and see this tool picks up your stones very well. And a little dab of glue I'm going to put. So here we go. So you, I start with the larger stones first and place it. Okay, simple, right? 
And that's going to basically give me my outline for where I'm gonna go with the rest of the stones in various sizes. But I like to place the large ones first. How fabulous is that? There's all different methods for blinging. And it, it really is a, a um, trial and error, if you will. You try out what works for you and what you think looks great. I mean, some people might say, okay, I'm gonna just put some like large stones like this and be done with it. But I like to go for the full Monty, if you will, and just load whatever it is I'm doing, load that sucker up. It's just so fun. It's blingitude, my friends, blingitude. And there's different ways of doing this as well. I could have gone in here with the really small ones and gone up the side and then filled in with the larger and the medium ones and the small ones, but I wanted to do this sort of haphazard and then fill it in. These, these projects can be quite lengthy in time. They're not like quick projects. So I will speed up the video. This E6000 glue does start getting tacky right away, but let me show you what I'm doing. I'm taking some glue and I am applying it directly to the surface where I want to encrust with gems or with crystals. Make sure you're covering your, you're capping your glue because it will leak out. And then I'm going to just start picking them up and just going at it. If you can see, I hope you can see. Are you gluing yours? You can try this way if you have a larger project. So I'm going to go back to my tool to pick up some of those tiny stones and make sure I have the glue in there. Tiny, tiny. The tiny ones fill in, oops, there we go. I mean, they are tiny. The tiny ones fill in the spots so it looks very full and you get all the um, glitter and sparkle of a full coverage piece area. Just watch your katana, wipe it off if the glue gets on there because the gems, the crystals will start sticking to that. You see how that's starting to look encrusted? A little bit more glue right here. And pick up one and place it. And the reason I use the AB is because this base actually is orange and the AB, um, when it hits light, 
has a spectrum of colors on them. And part of those of that spectrum is the um, orange. So I think it, it just makes it that much more vibrant and beautiful that I have um, used the AB instead of the clear. I am not gonna go underneath because obviously that's where my head will be. I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna go along this entire edge and encrust it just like I did that. Isn't that beautiful? Let's continue, I'm gonna speed up the video. We are rolling right along. Now when we're done putting our um, crystals on, let it dry. Let this dry for a good couple hours and then come with a pair of tweezers and you'll notice there's little bits of glue. Let me see if I can get that. See right here? Little bits of glue that look like, like spider webs almost hanging off. You can um, pull those off. This is what my project is looking like so far. And I'm working my way around the whole top part. It can be tedious work, but I love it. Let's speed up the video. I am going to do this section right here. 